What is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope everyone is having a pretty good day today. As you guys saw by the title, I'm going to be collecting money from my vending machine business again because you guys love to see these type of videos. So as y'all can see, I do have my car pretty filled up. I have a whole bunch of drinks and like chips back there. And also the whole front seat is completely full. I got like three boxes of chips and a whole bunch of pastries on top like donuts and honey buns and stuff like that. Also, before we start the video, let me know what your favorite type of chips are. For example, my favorite chips are Hot Funyuns. So let me know down below in the comments section what your favorite type of chips are i hope y'all do enjoy the video if y'all do drop a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and let's get started All right guys, so like I said, I am at the first location and I completely forgot that on Saturdays they actually closed the gate. I'm not sure if you guys can see. So I can't park in the parking lot where the machines are. So what I gotta do is I'm gonna have to carry everything like by hand and just walk all the way over there. I think it's gonna be easier to carry the chips first. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and uh, see you guys when I get inside. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna use the dolly. That way I don't have to carry the boxes of chips because I do have a lot of stuff as you guys can see. I gotta take those three boxes and everything on top which by hand I can't really do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the dolly. And of course, we can't forget the chocolate. If you guys didn't know, I do keep my chocolate bars in here. Because I do live in Texas and sometimes it can get hot. But it's actually not hot today. It's pretty cold. That's why I do have a jacket. Even though it's pretty cold today, it's much easier just to keep all the chocolate in here. As you can see, I have everything from like peanut M&M's, Reese's, Twix, and pretty much all the chocolate I need. Okay, so I pretty much got all these snacks on the dolly now. Hopefully, I don't drop everything. But let's see if I can do this with one hand. Okay, I think I can. Yeah, it should be good. Okay, let's see how much money the snack machine made in bills. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out right now. And that's bills right there for the snack machine. So those are the bills and the quarters are right in here. Uh, not, not too much quarters. Okay, so I am back in my car now. I'm getting the drinks and it's starting to rain now, so I do have to hurry up. But anyways, I have some sodas down there and then I also have to take a lot of Coke, which I think I should have some back here also. I gotta take one case of Dr. Pepper and two cases of Coke because they sold 50 cans in one week. Guys, so I couldn't get these through this little gate because of, you know, it's closed. So I had to take one at a time and bring one by one on the other side. Alright, so I just finished talking up the soda machine as you guys can see. Everything is pretty much full. The Pepsi is low as well as the Brisk, but those barely even sell. So I'm not even going to fill them up this time. Alright, so here we are at the soda machine. We are about to take out the money. Let's see how much money we made. Okay, let's see. Not too bad. Let's see how much we got in quarters. And guys, remember both of these machines, both have credit card readers. So I will be adding up at the end of the video how much money they made. Guys, look how beautiful this looks. The machine is full, the money's taken out, everything is stocked up. Okay, so I'm back in my car now. I just finished with the first location, and I'm gonna give you guys a quick sneak peek on how much money I made with the soda and the snack machine combined. So, right here, I got the bills for both machines. This is how much, you know, I took out from both of them. I do have the quarters in here. I would say it's maybe about 10 to $15. But don't forget, I do have credit card readers on both machines. So at the end of the video, I will let you guys know how much I made in credit card sales. But before I let you guys know at the end of the video how much the first location made, how much do you guys think this is? Let me know down below in the comment section. 
Okay, so I'm here at the second location now and they close in about like 45 minutes so I do have to hurry up. I'm gonna go ahead and start with all these snacks because it is easier to carry. The drinks in this location don't really sell so I always do these snacks first. And then I check the soda machine first to see if I actually need to bring any drinks. If not, then you know, I, I just do the snack machine and I just go home. But anyways, I'm gonna go inside and check it out. So let's go. Okay, so I have all these snacks I'm gonna use on the dolly already. I got two boxes of chips and all the pastries on top. And let's go. Alright you guys, so here we are at the snack machine and as you guys can see, there's really not a whole lot of stuff missing. Check that out, look what happened to the sugar donuts back there. I guess like the coil messed up and it came off the coil or something. So, I gotta make sure I fix that. Okay, so I'm actually really, really surprised that the donuts did not even sell this time. Look, check this out. I think only one sold and they're all here, like what? I put these last time because I didn't have any more chocolate cupcakes, so I didn't want to leave the coil empty. It doesn't look that much different because not a whole lot sold. So now it is time to take out the money. Okay, so we got the dollars in here. Let's go ahead and open it up. Mm, not too bad. I mean, not a whole lot sold, but I mean, it's something. So there we got the dollars for the snack machine. Now let's see if we got any quarters. So, okay. Not too bad again. Okay, so a lot of people ask me why do I take all the coins out if whenever people buy something they're not gonna get any change. But guys, I don't take out the money from the coin mechanism. This is the coin mechanism. This is what gives people back the change. The money I make goes into this little black box at the very bottom, which I just emptied out. Okay, so here we are inside the soda machine. Let's see. Coke is still good, Pepsi is good. Dr. Pepper is still good, NOS is still good. Since I'm not gonna go ahead and fill up the machine, let's go ahead and take out the money. All right, so right here we do have the dollars. Let's go ahead and take it out. Guys, look at that, that's literally nothing. That's what, like $10, 15? Let's see if we at least have any quarters. <laughs> Guys, we got like 50 cents in there. Okay, so I just finished with the second location. As you guys saw, I didn't really make a lot of money. Alright, so this right here is how much we made in dollars. This is both the soda machine and the snack machine from the second location. And over here, I do have all the quarters. This is actually one of my slowest locations, but like I said, the only reason why I keep it is because this location is literally like five minutes away from the first location I just came from. The only reason why I came in seven days this time is because they called me from the first location yesterday saying that the snack machine and the drinks were empty, which as you guys saw, I did put a lot of drinks in the first location and also a whole bunch of snacks. And they're both about an hour away from my house. So if I'm gonna drive an hour, you know, I'm not gonna just go to one location. I might as well stock up this machine as well. Alright everyone, so we are finally back home. It is now time to count how much money I've made in the last seven days. I do have all the money right over here. As you guys can see over here, I have location number one. There's all the bills. And I do have the quarters separated from the dimes and nickels. And over here, it is location number two. And those are the bills. As well as all the quarters and dimes and nickels right over there. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and count up all the money. And I'll let you guys know how much it is when I'm done. Alright, so I just finished counting up all the money and these are the bills from location one and location number two put together. I know it's a baby stack, okay? But remember that it's only been one week since the last time that I've gone. So now let me go ahead and tell you guys exactly how much I made. So for location number one in bills, we got a total of $78. In coins, we got $20 with 80 cents. And in credit card sales with both the soda machine and the snack machine put together, there was a total of $99 with 60 cents, which brings a total of $198 with 40 cents, which is a really good collection for only seven days. I feel like ever since I switched out the photos from the soda machine into cans I've made more money because with cans you do make less money but you also sell a lot more I've had a few people ask me why I stopped selling bottles and that's exactly why because with cans you make a lot more money but anyways for location number two in bills we got $40 even and in coins we only got $17 with 60 cents which brings the total to $57 with 60 cents for location number two and the grand total for those two locations is $256 now before you guys start flooding my comments on how much did I spend on product how much did I spend on gas 
guys let me go ahead and tell you guys real quick so the total like I said was $256 in product I only spent about $86 because you guys saw in the second location I didn't really use a lot of product and for gas I only spent $10 to go over there and to come back and the total profit I made for the past seven days is gonna be a hundred and sixty dollars and there you have it guys that's how much I made this past week hopefully it stays like this every single week because it was a pretty good collection and if you guys didn't know I am doing a giveaway as soon as I hit 50,000 subscribers so if you're watching this video and you are not subscribed make sure you subscribe right now if you want to be a part of that giveaway but anyways I hope y'all did enjoy the video if you guys did drop a like subscribe if you have any other questions or video ideas you guys want to see drop them down below in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out